Let's see how methodical the Vikings are now. Can down run offense, get a good shot. You don't want to be passive. You want to keep aggressive. Stay at the basket. And we'll have to watch the game off the monitor <laughs> because we have been engulfed by a sea of fans all standing to watch. Baseline. Sollinger. In the lane, throws it up. Yep. Yes! Get a chance for one more. Used that big body, Randy protected the basketball, went in there under control, then got square, got up, got the two, chance to make it three. That is huge, the margin now at four. Watch him, watch him, just under control, then he gets his body square, right through the defense. The Bearcats will take a timeout. A full timeout with 52 seconds left to go and there's a lifetime left in this game as well too and this timeout brought to you by Walmart and our good friends at 7-Up and Mike Sells Potato Chips Kelly Robinson now conferring with his partners there trying to figure out what they can do Jim what do you think offensively if you're Brookhaven when you get the ball back here who are you looking for are you looking for Brookings or well, looking inside of Johnson I mean Johnson is their go-to guy so you know they're going to look for him but on the other hand Brookings has had a very good basketball game but Randy what what uh, coach Saul is going to do they're going to make Brookings shoot it from outside they're not going to let him penetrate and they've done a nice job the last two positions of understanding that until last season try to fathom this Brookhaven had won 12 straight City League North titles and seven district crowns as well until last season. The Northland under Sash Sollinger on your screen went 24 and 1. So we are talking about the creme de la creme in the City League, at least when it comes to the North. Of course, Jim, when we see the South later on this season, we'll have some uh, different answers from the folks down there. Right, Randy, and, and you know, Brookhaven has been, the, you know, they have been the team to beat. So while this game doesn't have a huge impact but on the other hand it could show the changing of the guard Jared was 10 of 11 from the line coming into this contest at 91 percent and the margin up to five you see timer many under 50 seconds left to go again man to man doing a good job the Vikings doing a good job keeping the ball outside for three Johnson nope rebound Sullinger do you foul here if they can catch him up I don't sure they're going to catch him this is more and there's the hack right there. Hack attack by Brandon Hope, who picks up the foul. See time remaining, just 31 ticks left for Allie Robinson and company. First time into, first time into the uh, bonus. You mentioned the JV score tonight. Brookhaven victorious by count of 59-58. Although it was a double-digit lead. Jim, with just about two minutes left to go, and the Vikings came back and made it a one-point contest. And that and that was an exciting game, Randy. That had everybody standing for a JV game. And they're still all standing. <laughs> they the stopped. only chance we have to see the floor is when it pops up on our monitor. Because right now, this contest is just a rumor as we are entrenched around a sea of fans. And this is the way we love it. We'd rather have 500 fans in a 400 seat capacity around us than to have just six people there and a quick foul with so this we're down to 27 ticks left to go and granny yeah that last foul is only the six when we look at the board they did put it up to six this time they're going to be in the bonus and you got jared on the line i think he shoots a little better free throws than you used to jay hey, hey, huh? yeah <laughs> you had that double slap when you were with coach miller <laughs> So Jared Sollinger heads to the line with his team now up by six. He averages 22, and guess what? He's got 23 now in this game. And you know what, Jim? I've got to say, it was kind of a quiet 20 right. points. But uh, an impressive, an impressive 22. The lead up to seven, the shot from outside, no good, and guess who's got it? They went to Jared. And this one goes to Moore. Elliot, oh, oh, maybe. Nope, knocked away. Saved and back the other way we go. And the overplay taken back by Sollinger and Moore's got it. And right now it's just gonna be gravy time for the Vikings with four seconds left to go and the margin at seven and set. Little congratulations from the folks in the stands already. Yeah, it was a big win. You come into Brookhaven and win. That that's a big win. But especially think about what happened after three quarters, Jim. Brookhaven was up by four at that break, 45-41. What turned it around in the fourth quarter? Well, they were patient. I thought that they got the ball back inside. Uh, Moore did a nice job, and then uh, Jared came in. 
And tonight's CSN Player of the Game is brought to you by Bowling Green State University. For Brookhaven is Gerald Brookins. Well, Brookins had that kind of contest with those numbers, and boy, he was the catalyst for this team when they got the lead and marched it up. And people are going to look at the score and be surprised when they see the margin, maybe at nine points, but this contest was much closer than that as Northland comes away with a victory on the road by a count of 60 to 51. They're now 3-0 and overall. Brookhaven falls to 2-2. Two and -two. Northland now 2-0 and in City League North, and the Bearcats at 1-1. One and -one. And now, as we mentioned, it's just an easy game coming up for the Vikings next. All they have to do is take on Dayton Dunbar. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Well, they wanted one and done for Brookhaven. Many times the Vikings did control the boards. They also made Johnson work for his points. And because of that, Brookhaven sees the Vikings come in and win on their court. 16-51 and final. We'll wrap it up here on CSN after this. We believe football games are won at the line of scrimmage. We believe in giving 100% on every play. We believe winning is fueled by passion and commitment. We believe in championships. Reserve your 2008 Destroyer season tickets now. A $50 deposit on all new accounts will secure the best seats available. Call 1-877-COLS-AFL or visit ColumbusDestroyers.com for details. Want to head to the Big Easy for the Big Buckeye Battle with LSU? George Coon Travel will get you there. The leader in OSU Bowl Travel for 25 years is offering non-stop three-night charter packages from Columbus to New Orleans. Make your reservations now and receive a free copy of former OSU assistant coach Bill Conley's new audio book featuring 30 stories about Buckeye football greats. For reservations, call George Coon Travel at 459-1303 or log on to georgecoontravel.vacation.com. What's up, everyone? Pete here, and welcome to Blue Hippo, where anyone can get a brand new, brand name computer regardless of their credit. Take a look at this. You can send emails, download music and video, even organize your finances. This is a fully loaded desktop computer. Let's take a call. Hello, caller? Yeah, hi. I have really bad credit, and I've been turned down before. Can you really help me get a computer? Do you have an active checking account and a home phone number? Yes, I do. Well, that's all you need. So, whether you want a desktop or you prefer the convenience of a laptop, you can get either one regardless of your credit. And if you order now, we'll send you a free color printer and a free flat screen TV so you can watch your favorite shows and movies and print and email digital photos. So, to be clear, when you order today, you can get your choice of a brand new desktop or laptop with tons of great software, plus a free color printer and a free LCD TV. And remember, there is no credit check and your approval is guaranteed. But you must call Blue Hippo now. Welcome back to Brookhaven High School. Your Verizon final score, Northwood 60, Brookhaven 51. My partner in crime is standing by with the Sullinger family. Hi, this is Jim Hamilton. I'm with the winning coach, Sat Sollinger, and the most valuable player of the game, his son, Jared Sollinger. And uh, coach, has to be a great feeling. Oh, man, I'm going to tell you, it was a statement game. It wasn't a game that was going to uh, make or break a season, but it was a statement game. I mean, Brookhaven had the uh, North Division for 12 straight years. We, they lost it to us last year, and, and we knew they were going to come out in this game and give us everything they had, and we, we answered the bell. Good. Tell us, uh, you were down 41-45 at the end of the third quarter. Tell me the adjustments you made to uh, get the ball back in your court. Well, what I, what I had them doing at the beginning was having whoever was guarding uh, number 5 or 24 to get down the floor. And, it, and we're on the boards, and it's a double message. So the adjustment was whoever's back covers back, and we'll filter back and get your man and eliminated those easy buckets. I think we held them to six points fourth quarter. Yes, you did. Yeah. Okay. Coach, uh, not easy tomorrow night, right? Well, you know, tomorrow night's a fun game. Tomorrow night's a measuring stick. Has nothing to do with a banner. We're going to go down there and have some fun and try our best to win. Great. Congratulations. Great ball game. Thank you very much. And over here, we've got the Bowling Green player of the game, Jared Saul, your sophomore. Jared, you had 17 in the last half of your 24. Tell me what happened and what was the difference there. Um, I just played hard. Uh, I tried to put the team on my back when we was down 41 to 45 and try to you know, do something to they uh Devon Moore told me he said if they win this game, there's no city championship. <laughs> and I told him, I got you, big bro, I got yeah. you. How about that? Uh, Javon Moore, he's a four year starter point guard. He gave you some good minutes out there. Yeah, yeah, he did. Uh 
his knee is messed up, so he wasn't to his uh, full health, though. Well, certainly did a great job, and congratulations. Uh, you got a great start, and good luck the rest of the year. Thank you. Thank good. you. Good. Well done. It's time now to check out the final stats. Thank you very much, Jim Hamilton. And you look at all those numbers on your screen there. You look at the field goal percentage, 50 to 47 percent. And Jim slips back in here now. And Jim, look at that. Ten turnovers in this game with the pace that this contest was played at at times. That is unbelievable. Sullinger leading the way for Northland with the 24. And Brookings a great job for the Bearcats with 17. The game was very well played, Randy, for, you know, for as much was at stake. Both teams played well. Both teams, you know, had their strategy and stayed with it. One thing that was interesting, too, we talked about some long-range shooting. We didn't see much in this contest. Each team converted only one trifecta here in this game. Time now to check out the highlights. And, oh, do we have highlights for you from this contest. 60 to 51, the final count as the Vikings get the victory. We start early in this contest. Sometimes, Jim, the shot doesn't go down from outside, but that's not always bad news. That rebounder on the back side, he did that very, very easily. That Brookens was Brookens. for two, yeah, and more launching from outside. Cans that one. We come back, and Johnson, the fadeaway, cannot get it. But then Hope, Hope rebound on the move. And also, this was Hale. DeMond with limited time in the first half, but a nice move to the hoop there to get two. And then look at Moore trying to find something, then penetrates inside. And I asked you if it was planned, and you <laughs> said no, but it looked good. <laughs> no, it looked good. That's right. We move to the second half then, and Brookhaven found themselves down four. But Northland was the reason why with their strong play inside as Jared Sullinger was strong to the hoop baseline to pick up two points. And Moore is so quick in transition, Jim, as well. Yeah, look at that quick move back and forth. Very, very active. Brookhaven would not die. Strong move to the hoop by Johnson inside. They stayed in this contest. And then Hope from the outside saying, I can can it from about 20 feet out. Man, those are just some of the highlights of this contest. You look at it, 60-51, the final count in this game. If you're Hallie Robinson, what do you tell your cats after this loss? Well, he can't be too down, Randy. They played. I think they stayed with their game plan and did very well. The thing is, the Northland in, this, in that fourth quarter, they just simply came back and threw the ball inside to their big horse. And a final number I want to bring up to you again. What did I tell you about Northland when they score 60 points? They always win. 60 to 51 was the final tally in this contest. So it holds true to form for at least another contest. The Vikings score 60 and they win. They are now 3 and 0 on the campaign, 2 and 0 in City League North, and for the Bearcats, they are 2 and 2 overall and they are now 1 and 1 in league competition. Hey, thank you for joining us here on CSN. What a night of high school basketball it's been. Stay tuned to Columbus Sports Network for the best in high school college and professional sports programming. More high school hoops just around the corner and hopefully just as exciting as this game. For Jim Hamilton and the entire CSN sports team, I'm Randy Reinhardt saying so long from Brookhaven High School. And remember, you've been watching Columbus Sports Network. We are local sports now. This has been a presentation of CSN, the Columbus Sports Network. We strip down all the artificial flavors and preservatives. With 100% natural flavors, it now tastes better than ever. Refreshingly crisp 7-Up. With 100% natural flavors. Make sure to stop by your local Walmart to pick up 7-Up and Mike Simony Products. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Recently what I discovered was the Aleve liquid gel. Before you throw that away, you should know about our trash policy. Yeah, if you throw that stuff away and the trash heap falls over, you have to take out the trash. Mm -hmm. It's a little game we like to call garbage Jenga. Yeah, well, back east, we call that just nasty. Yeah, I, I used to think it was whack, too, you know, with the funk and the flies and stuff. But after a while, you get caught up in the sport of it. Okay. Well, I, I could do this. <laughs> I got game. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, what's going on? Oh, I made a mess, boo. How am I ever going to clean this up? Oh, baby, don't worry. I'll take care of it. Just let me get the broom. Okay. <laughs> See, I told y'all I had game. You can feel all by yourself.
hard to study. It's so beautiful. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. You want me to put my shirt on? <laughs> no, Arnez. I'm talking about the beach. Uh -huh. How can I study when every day feels like summer? There are no seasons out here. The leaves don't even change colors. Hey, I hear for five bucks, Nickelback Netta on a boardwalk can help you see them change colors. <laughs> Nickelback Netta? Hey, if y'all going to see Netta, hook a brother up. I'll take it off your rent. Nobody's going to see Netta. Oh, it's probably better that way. I was only kidding about taking it off your rent. <laughs> Shoot, I wouldn't even give my own mama a break off the rent. <laughs> she know I'm poor. Mama the one who took all my money. I'm a, but hey, y'all need to keep it down, because I need to study for my audition. Wait, you have an audition? Really? I know, and you would think they would be familiar with my work. I'm famous. Looking out. Yeah, for sure, man. Once again, man, thanks. We'll beat it. All right. <laughs> that was my boy T. Boom. We got love at the door tonight. He put us on the VIP list. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Yo, what? Hey, man, you want to hang out with us tonight? It's a hot club. Lots of hot <clears throat> lights. <laughs> yeah, man, we keep inviting you. When you gonna roll with your dogs? Oh, he can't tonight. He's got plans. Can't this man speak for himself? I can't tonight. I got plans. <laughs> Right, we're gonna stay in, cuddle on the couch, and watch our favorite movie, Save the Last Dance. Yo, that's your favorite movie? Well, yes, I love it. <laughs> well, we'd stay and join you, but, well, we're straight. I think it is so sad the way D-Mac and Cash have to go out every night. Clubs, parties, wild women, it's just sad, ain't it, baby? Yeah, makes me feel like crying. <laughs> Lisa, my date's bringing a friend. You have to come with me. How can you even ask me that after our last double date? We picked up my guy after his arraignment. <laughs> even I'm not desperate enough to wait five to ten years for a second date. <laughs> then stop visiting him on Sundays. And you're going. I'm sick of watching you make out with your pillow. It is just sad. Boy, at least and Sarah have to go out to hot clubs and they skimpy little dresses and shake it for me. Oh, I'm so lucky to have you, boo. Yes, you are. <laughs> I would never make you go out to hot clubs and shake it. You can do that right here. <laughs> right now. <laughs> Quickly, please. <laughs> went to the store and bought Save the Last Dance, the director's cut. Great. Now it's gonna be even longer. <laughs> oh, hey, Brianna, I'm so glad you're here. I need you to help run lines with me. This is my chance to get back into the big time. Uh-uh, it is Saturday night, and Arnaz and I have plans. Oh, please? Have I ever asked you for anything besides money, liquor, or sex? <laughs> Me for sex? You want me to start? <laughs> All right, let's run these lines. Oh, okay. I'm cruise ship passenger number 82. Okay. <sighs> what the? But that was my line. Are you playing a woman? <laughs> no, nah, but see, in my mind, I'm ripping a life jacket off of one. <laughs> Are you holding her under, too? If she get between me and the camera. <laughs> See, it's gonna be big. It's like the Black Titanic. It's called Soul Boat. The boat that really gets down. Man, I gotta be on that boat. I wanna get down. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh he is so crazy. Oh, and musty. <laughs> But anyway, baby, do you want to watch the movie first or the Julia Stiles commentary? Ooh, they both sound great. That's a tough choice. Let me think about it. While I'm slowly dying. Our names. Come here, man. We got to talk to you. All right. Let me turn on the fire on my caramel. Ernest, man, what are you doing? I'm making caramel popcorn for movie night. It's my own secret recipe. And the secret is, you're gay. 
No. The secret is cinnamon. <laughs> and you just hate it because I have a girl and you still have to go out and look for one. Don't get us wrong, we like Brianna. But is it really worth it if you can't even go out with the fellas? What about my caramel corn? <laughs> Man, you soft. Dude, I am not soft. Dude, you're wearing a gapron. <laughs> Excuse me? Do you know how hard it is to get caramel out of cotton? <laughs> Just admit it. You're afraid of Brianna. Dude, I am not afraid of Brianna. Honey! Huh? <laughs> not afraid of Brianna, huh? No, I'm not. I can go out whenever I want, and I'll prove it to you right now. What's the hold up, playboy? I'm waiting. She's holding a shank. <laughs> oh, she's that's a that's a nail file. In her hand, it's a shank. <laughs> All right, I'm good. Hey, baby, you're missing the part where Julia Stiles is telling us how she learned how to be black from eating collard greens. <laughs> uh, that sounds great. Listen, the guys are going to a club. I'm going with them. There's caramel on the stove. I love you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> are you telling me that you'd rather go out with the guys than be with me on a Saturday night? Uh, I wouldn't put it that way. <laughs> then how would you put it? I would say that I'd rather go out with the guys and be with you on this Saturday night. See how I did that? Completely different. <laughs> Fine, Arnaz, do what you gotta do. If that's your choice, then go. I'm trying, but... But what? Is there something stopping you? Like your conscience? Your guilt, the knowledge that you are willing to sacrifice our relationship for your own selfish needs. You're sitting on my wallet. all night at the club. You're just like my parents. You don't want me to wear anything sexy because you think I'll get too much attention. Maybe even more attention than you. <laughs> Please, Lisa. They're not magical shoes. <laughs> well, we're going out. Have a fun movie night with Arnaz. He's not here. He went out. What? You two are apart? No way. He just went out with the guys. Cool. Then you can go out with us. Finally. Yeah. No, I'm not really in the mood. Please, it'll be fun. Besides, if we're there looking hot, then maybe people won't notice the leaning tower of Lisa. Thanks. You guys are right. If Arnez is having a guy's night out, then I'm having a girl's night out. Woo. That's right. It's all about the sisterhood. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> to women. Yeah. Girls rock. Woo! Girls. Well, let's go out meet some men. All right. <laughs> I have something for you. I really like you. Beautiful. You're such a stud muffin. You make me happy. I think it's strong. You are my prince. Wherever you're going, I'm going. I love you. You're the only girl for me, and you always will be. You're not alone. I'm here. Imagine how you feel. I just got so attached, you know? Yeah, I know. It's really funny what brings people together. Isn't it, though? I really appreciate you printing these notices out for me. I just hope we find them. You're great, you know? <laughs> I know. Oh, and I'm gonna need your number in case Spike turns up. Yeah. Should we let him go yet? No. Let's go find another 20 minutes. Nick at Night presents a family so loving, so supportive, so understanding that they put up with this guy. <laughs> Home Improvement, tonight at 9 on Nick at Night. You better wear a hard hat. <laughs> Sometimes friends can't see how drugs and drinking changes them.
Tree Hill Season 4 on DVD Tuesday. Relive the last days of Tree Hill High with three hours of bonus features. One Tree Hill, the complete fourth season on DVD Tuesday. It's here, the new now, that's what I call music 26. Twenty of this season's hottest hits, including Pink and Avril Lavigne. Now twenty-six with plain white tees, Rihanna and Fabulous. You make me better. You make me better. You make me better. You make me better. Visit nowthatsmusic.com to buy your copy of Now Twenty-six. Cool hits from Good Charlotte and Daughtry. Now 26 is available in stores and online now. Or buy it today at nowthatsmusic.com. She's got your dimples on. <laughs> yes, she does. All your priceless memories from yesterday. Go, no, no. From today. Come on, shoot it. Even tomorrow. All super easy to store, share, and edit with your own personal photo studio. The HP Pavilion Slimline S3200T with 100 free Snapfish prints. Other desktops start at $299.99. The computer is personal again. Starting December 31st, the end is moving to a new channel, and it's going 24 hours. To kick off the end's new all-day awesome 24-hour awesome starting at noon, stars from your favorite shows are going to celebrate why the end is so well end. With 24 reasons, we heart the end. Plus, reason after reason to keep up the love fest in 2008. Tune in for classic episodes of the grassy south of nowhere about a girl and more. And stay tuned for sneak peeks of what the end has in store for the year ahead. More cat fights, love triangles, more awesome cringe-tastic moments. And one very big surprise. Don't tell. I still wasn't going to. Okay. So this New Year's Eve, tune in at noon. Oh, the end and noon in the same sentence. That's, like, so weird. For 12 hours and 24 reasons to love the end. You're my reason, Kathy. <laughs> 24 Reasons to Love the N in 2008. New Year's Eve starting at noon on the N's new channel. Guys, check it out. I got an empty bar stool next to a hottie. I'd say about an eight. Cool. I could date down if I have to. <laughs> That's funny. You say that like you have a choice. <laughs> All right, time to go feed you the corn. Cornball walking, cornball walking. <laughs> what the heck are you guys doing? Club tactics, man. Cash goes over and feed those girls corny lines. Then we cruise over all smooth and make that corn pop. <laughs> Come on, let's go make out. Hey, baby, you mind if I uh, check your tag? Just like I thought, made in heaven. <laughs> There you go, Cash. Man, I heard your corny ass from way over there. <laughs> I'm so sorry, ladies, but rich guys never have game. <laughs> How you doing, baby? My name's D-Mac. <laughs> Arnez, and that's my rich friend, Cash. <laughs> hey, you good, baby. You good, you good. Uh-huh. Whoa. Oh, hold up, bro. What? No shorts, bro. We got a dress code. Oh, yeah, for regular folk. But see, I'm a celebrity. I'm Manny, as in Manny of the house, see? <laughs> Yeah, well, tonight you man in the street. What? Let me tell you something, steroid, Steve. You just let Todd Bridges up in here. Look, I gotta let Todd in. He's the guy with the cologne set up in the bathroom. <laughs> Step aside. Oh, man. Just for that, no autographs. Hey, Frankie. Hey. It's me and two friends tonight. Nice, nice. <laughs> Glad to see you ditch that loser from last week. Hey, that was me. <laughs> With them. <laughs> hey girls, hey ladies, hey ladies. Y'all know this guy? Oh, hey Manny. Nah, I've never seen him before in my life. <laughs> okay, ladies, let's give him something to look at. I'm 
sorry about your breakup, but I'm filled out a little grudge sex is liberating. <laughs> so liberate yourself, girl. Grudge me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You guys are so crazy and cute, especially you. <laughs> Would you guys mind watching our seats while we go to the ladies' room? Our nails? Uh, sure, but uh, call me Nazzy. Ooh, I like that. Dang, dude, my girl is so hot. Yo, girl. What about Rihanna? Oh, come on, man. I'm just looking. All right, sometime a dog has to go to the end of the leash and bark a little. Woof, woof. <laughs> Okay, you're the corny guy from now on, dog. For real. <laughs> yeah, if Rihanna ever lets him out again. Hey, look, Rihanna's cool with us being apart and doing our own thing. I mean, here I am tonight, and where's Rihanna? I don't see her. That's because she's behind you. <laughs> hey, Rihanna, what are you doing here? I thought you were at home. She was, alone. That's why we brought her out with us. Yeah, that's right. We're having a girls' night out. Aren't we, Lisa? Did you say something? I can't hear you over the pain in my feet. Now, y'all tripping. Why don't y'all have y'all girls' night out somewhere else? Why should we? This is the hottest club in Hollywood. That is, until Manny's smiling. So, is us being here a problem? We were just having a guy's night out, and then you showed up. It's just kind of weird. Really? So me being in the same club as my boyfriend is kind of weird? You're not with your boyfriend tonight. He's with the fellas. And she's with the girls. Forget about it. I'm not about to let these boys ruin our night. Thanks for saving our seats, guys. Sure, no problem. <laughs> Arnaz, you don't have to stand. I can always sit on your lap. <laughs> I'm sorry, do I know you? <laughs> Anybody. I am too cute to kill anybody. I'm just about to get my party on. Brianna! Not now, Arnez. Come on, girls. Next clubs on me. <laughs> just so you know, we live with these guys and they all sleep together every night. talking to some guys at that last club. Yeah, but all they wanted to talk about was you two. By the way, you guys have been dating each other for about three years. <laughs> Sorry, it's a war out there. So, are you still mad at Arnaz for talking to that girl? No, it's okay. It's not about the girl. Well, it kind of is. So little. I think it's just because I'm in a new town and I'm feeling threatened by all the hot girls. I know exactly what you're saying. <laughs> Sorry, I tried to dress down. But look, I don't know what you're worried about. I mean, you're totally hot, too. And if you want, you can borrow my shoes, assuming the swelling goes down. <laughs> okay, we're getting these off of your Please. <laughs> oh, my gosh, why are they so tight? <laughs> uh, ugh. Ugh. Oh, girl, your toes swelled up like sausages. <laughs> look, you don't really need these shoes to look hot. Really? Really? Yes, really. Deep down, guys don't really care about stuff like that. Like my Arnaz, he is not superficial at all. I'm telling you, the ass in that girl was so stacked, you could have played ping pong on it. <laughs> you should have gotten her number. For what, D-Mac? I've got Brianna. But I did have a good time tonight. Well, have you talked to your girl yet? Nah, I know Brianna. She seems to cool off. Besides, can you blame her for being jealous? I mean, the girls like what they see. <laughs> Stop that, man. Nobody wants to see that. It was bad enough you was doing that on the dance floor. Look at this. Oh, hey. Hey. So, we have fun with your boys tonight? Yeah, it was cool. How are your girls? Nice. 
thought were your girls. They weren't my girls. You're my girl. I know. So then why are you jealous? Jealous of who? The girl with the pay less shoes and the pay even less cleavage? Yeah, that was a little distracting. I mean, the shoes. Like, come on, you know you don't have to worry about anything with me. I know, I wasn't worried. It's just that you were so determined to go out without me. And then I see you hanging out with the guys and the girls. And I don't know, I guess it was harder than I thought it would be. Wait, what's harder? Us? No, not us. Us being here. Away from home, away from our friends, our families. You're all I have out here. Look, it's hard for me, too. At least you have school. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do here. But I think our roommates are OK. I mean, I like hanging out with them. Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. It wasn't that bad being away from you. OK. I mean, if we're never apart, how can I miss you? Wow, that's deep. That's some college learning right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, maybe I should get back. Technically, it's still girls' night. I know, but it's also guys' night. And guys like to do this with girls. Arnaz, hurry up. We're hungry. Hey, Brianna, don't let the guys have all the good stuff. <laughs> you know what? I already have the good stuff. But they don't, so I'm gonna eat these cookies. I'll see you in the morning. Yeah. Good night. Spray. The Simpsons movie on DVD. You never know where the treasure is buried. What treasure? The treasure of I'm a Wiener. I'm a Wiener. <laughs> Classic. The Simpsons movie. Own it on DVD Tuesday. It's a grizzly. Don't listen to your mother. That's a brown bear. Oh, what are you guys blind? That is a sun bear. Oh, yeah. I could show you a picture. It's time to get buzzing. Which bear catches salmon around the Okanogan River? The ultimate game show live in your living room. Buzz the Mega Quiz. Only on PlayStation 2. Rated E10+. We're twins. She has astigmatism. So the glasses are gone. Yeah. I don't have to wear them anymore. New school, new me. I always thought I couldn't wear contacts, but it was time to do something. My doctor told me that Accuvue Advance made a contact lens just for people with astigmatism. What's astigmatism? It's just a big word for you don't see as sharply as you could. He said they were made with hydroclear, so they're really comfortable. I can't even feel them. You tell us. Which, which one, one has the astigmatism? For a free <laughs> trial pair certificate, go to AccuView.com. And if you don't have astigmatism, try a fresh new lens every day with new one-day AccuView Moist. Talent Challenge. Sing along with the idols or go solo. See and hear comments from actual American Idol judges. American Idol Talent Challenge comes with everything you see here. Hot bod. Check out the bod. Check out the bod. I want you bod. Bod man fragrance spray. this sweater for my grandson. He is so sweet. Not like that skank Marissa. She is so going down. The hookup, now with more ways to get your float on. Check out the new features only at the end.com. Today on DVD, Evil Returns. This can't go unanswered. Now Harry must stand and fight. I'm not weak. Then prove it. You can come. Get behind me. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix on DVD in high definition. Paying for college? 
a lot harder than I imagined. I have a scholarship, but I still need more for books, lab fees. It costs so much. I am glad I found a Strive. A Strive. A Strive. Loans for students like me. My parents co-signed, so I got a better rate. $10,000. $40,000. I got my money in about a week. A check in my name. It's just about a week. I chose to defer payments until after I graduate. Either way, I build my credit history. I got the money I need now. I bought a new laptop. I'm paying for room and board. When you've done your homework but you still need more money, there's a Strive Student Loans. Up to $40,000 a year just by calling or going online now. You can apply in as few as 15 minutes, get your money in about a week, and you don't have to pay a cent until after you graduate. Check it out. Definitely. I would tell people to check it out. If you're like me, you need an option. A Strive is a great option. Call 1-800-645-6180 or go online at astrive123.com. Introducing the Samsung Juke. Hey! Samsung, leading the music phone revolution. Excuse me? Am I dead? Is this heaven? Our love for you is huge. How huge? Let's just say we're gonna need a bigger place. Beginning December 31st, the N is moving to a new channel number so we can be with you 24-7. To find out exactly where the N is going on your TV, text FIND to 38229. Standard rates and other charges may apply. Or go to the N.com and use our awesome new channel finder. Now, we never have to be apart again. And that's huge. Starting December 31st, the N is on 24-7. Let your name, please. Uh, Manny Sellers. <laughs> you probably remember me from Manny at the House. And, and no? Oh, uh, okay. Well, see, I'm also a serious dramatic actor. I did an episode of Magnum P.I. I got a copy of it. Y'all got that Betamax? <laughs> Just do the line. Oh, okay. That was good, but we're looking for a male passenger. The female auditions are at three. Hey, man, that's outrageous. See, I'm, um, <coughs> I'm an old man right here, baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I don't have to take this. Good day. <laughs> you, you did say, uh, three o'clock, right? Because, <laughs> you know, I got a wig and a skirt and a car. <laughs> I'll make it do what it do, baby. Love you too, Netta. Yeah, thanks a lot for keeping your music down, Lisa. Oh, and by the way, nobody even listens to 98 Degrees no more, not even Jessica. <laughs> Baby, you... Disarmed. Season 7 of 24 has Jack Bauer chasing after the deadliest threat facing America, trying to get the writer's strike resolved. It might take longer than a day. That's a bad idea. I'm married. You're married. Carrie Russell plays a waitress who is sweet as pie. I have a very jealous husband. Next. He'd kill you if he ever saw us. He don't like when other men even look at me. What's on? We're treasure hunting again, and we strike gold when Nicolas Cage sits down with TV Guide to talk National Treasure Book of Secrets. Plus, we travel the globe, take you inside the supersized sets, and get the secrets behind the scenes. That is what making National Treasure is like. Join the stars on the red carpet for the big movie premiere, National Treasure Book of Secrets, Thursday at 8, 7 central on TV Guide Network. New DiGiorno Ultimate gives you ultimate pizzeria taste. 
without the pizzeria place. New DiGiorno Ultimate uses whole milk mozzarella, plump mushrooms and sausage, thick pepperoni and julienne peppers for ultimate pizzeria taste. But while the pizzeria seats you next to the team from Manny's Plumbing, with New DiGiorno Ultimate, you sit by someone much nicer. <laughs> for ultimate pizzeria taste, it's New DiGiorno Ultimate. How you doing? Okay, when I was a kid, there were three things that ruled. Riding my bike, Saturday morning cartoons, and Nesquik. Fast forward 30 years later, and I still love Nesquik. I love the fact that today Nesquik powder has 25% less sugar than other leading syrups and powders. It even has 33% more calcium than milk alone. And my kids love the fun, chocolatey taste, just like I did. Some things never change, and others get better. Like Nesquik with 25% less sugar. Consider this, a three-act mouthwash. Act one kills germs for fresh breath. Act two restores minerals to prevent tooth decay. Act three strengthens tooth enamel up to two times harder. Dentists recommend it most. Act restoring mouthwash. Three acts, one bottle. The omega fatty acids in my food give me a soft, healthy coat. If you don't believe me, rub my belly. Seriously, rub it. Pedigree, really good food for dogs. The 70s pop duo, The Captain and Tennille, have released their one and only Christmas show onto DVD. It contains some surprising guest stars, plus some holiday favorites done in their signature style. I would say 15 or 20 years since we'd seen it, when we saw it again. So sit back and relax, and we'll all get you into the Christmas spirit. Bah humbug. It's a very odd feeling because it's almost like watching someone else. Um, it's definitely for me. <laughs> Variety was a, a way of just relaxing, and nothing was serious about it. It was just for fun, and the silly sketches, and the dances, and when you did Variety, you had to do everything. We've heard ourselves referred to as that quirky couple, so I guess that's better than totally boring and square. I think they're a hoot. I mean, I have to laugh. We'll be right back. What's on? Bursting with three times the cleaning power. All small and mighty. Three times stronger because it's three times concentrated. If you could get service like this, for the same price as this, <laughs> why wouldn't you? It's the same with car insurance. If you can get State Farm's unbeatable good neighbor service for the same or less than the other guys, why wouldn't you? With discounts up to 40%, you could. Get a quote and start saving today. Quick question about my hair. I'm on the phone. Oh. With Banquet Crock-Pot Classics, everything is included. Just add water and it does the cooking so you don't have to. Banquet. More of what you want. I don't have time to worry whether my home smells fresh and clean. And since I heard about Airwick Freshmatic Ultra, I can rest easy. It automatically sprays a fresh burst of fragrance every 9, 18 or 36 minutes, so it's always working. And now when my husband takes his sneakers off, this Freshmatic Ultra has a button for an extra burst of freshness whenever I need it. That's a centipede for you. Airwick, it's good to be home. Also look for more discreet Airwick Freshmatic Mini. Oh. Waitress is the charming romantic comedy from the late writer and director Adrian Shelley. In it, Carrie Russell plays a waitress with an unhappy personal life who pours her heart into making the best pies in town. It was a hit at the Sundance Film Festival. Waitress also serves up an outstanding performance by TV legend Andy Griffith. Dear Lord, please protect our Jenna from the hell of unwanted pregnancy. Oh, no. <gasps> I seem to be pregnant. Congratulations. Thanks, but I'm not so happy about it like everybody else might be. I'm having the baby, and that's that. Un-congratulations. Un-thank you. I wrote Waitress when I was pregnant with my baby, Sophie, who plays Lulu in the movie, actually. It is a love letter to Sophie. I met Adrienne Shelley in a diner in New York, and we just sat and talked. We, like, ordered pancakes and sat and talked about the script, and... Questioning a suspect. Louis can't talk.
actually doing this with you is kind of creeping me. Bank of America is proud to sponsor this. This is painful. Get out. The anatomy. I'm sorry. Why did you leave without saying goodbye? When we take your calls about the Republican presidential candidate. We're outside in the back. All right, let's check it out. I think it's going to be a lot of fun trying to judge which is the best for Chrissy this weekend. This is JD. Hi, nice, nice to you. meet you. you. When JD walked in the door, I thought, oh no. I wasn't real thrilled with the look. I do. Never heard of him either. Gift. I mean, this is one of the land of Turkey. Potter books have probably broken all the. They're working better. Those are the kinds of things. With some newspaper. Side the building. I want you to. Our feet subsiding to one to three feet. Gloves so they don't leave any fingerprint. You know, I, I didn't know that Rita Cosby was writing a book. She's. Just slow down for a minute. Slow down. Pittsburgh has to burn. Irish Invader gets it going. Jackets could not get a shot on goal on that abbreviated power play. They've scored power plays in each of their first two games. They'd like to keep this. On is popped in the air to left. Gonna see if you want Minnesota. I don't understand. Help. Guess all you need to pick up the pieces for me. Couch, and if you don't like it, lump it. <laughs> I don't like it, and there's not room for another lump on that couch. Sell it now. We love you. Just bring it on Robert that um, these cats are now living in our chocolate. An Asian flute player. Listen, know that we were doing the kitchen. Just first matchup of the night on Unleashed. Haynes is 29, singer one year older. To the, to the thing. I've heard emergencies. I know emergencies. That's not an emergency. Very own apartment. Detective, tell him to get whatever he can on this Henry Scram. Be stupid! My arms stand up. Is the beautiful fillet of Hamas. each other. But Davis did stay, and 18 years later, he's operations okay. manager. Standing, I think what's actually happening here, nobody's really changing roles, just they... Tying Gus Hansen if he captures this title. Back on the green... Cooler winds will be ushering in. Baseball weather, the great equalizer, right? Oh, absolutely. So what do you think weather-wise, other than Boston, Boston, during the evening, the winds and the dry conditions on the whole, what kind of weather do you think we'll see? Well, I think we're going to see uh, rain, <laughs> plenty of that. No I mean, it's just, snow? Well, snow not season. yet, all right? Let me, let me get into that. I'll get into that a little bit. Here you go. Here's Thursday, and you can see, of course, that uh, we've got obviously a problem with the graphic, but <laughs> it's going to be raining, okay, on Thursday. Hey, how's that graphic? Hide and seek. For strong lasting relief, take maximum strength Zantac 150. Homeowner 
looking to refinance. Why do you think she finds it so hard to see? In a dirty dress. Why would anyone write anything so hurt? Dan. Excellent treat. In the aisles, 27-25. Building. Out of the the excess scar tissue and rounding out the pocket. Hurry, when I left the house today. I, okay, I did, but I closed it really quickly. Ugh, please let me die. Turn yards for St. Francis to sales, Randy. That all turns into offense as it goes along in the football game. Again, I'm most impressed with the fact that only two turnovers in this game and also the fact that there were very few penalties in a game where emotions are running extraordinarily high. And again, I'll say to you, I have not seen the kind of hitting in a game like this all year, and we've covered some pretty good football teams. Both of these schools deserve a lot of credit. Do you want to see highlights? Do you want to see highlights? Yeah! <laughs> Let's go to the highlights then. We start with a friendly hand. And a dazzling 13-month wall calendar. As a bonus, you'll also get log home area of mom's blouse two separate times. I'm not touching mom's chest area. Okay, uh, if you do not perform your task, or if anybody at the table realizes economic policy to adopt it, like bike paths and, and bike still work as London cabbies. Also on the scene. Percent in just six weeks. Work in one easy elliptical motivation, interest, or obsession. Uh, he's evidently extremely. Been on this item, we're going to give you another great price. It's genuine diamonds, solid 10 karat white gold. The price is just $69. If you never believed that you could own genuine diamond jewelry, you can right now, but it won't last very long. So go ahead and hop on those phone lines, get on the web, let's make it happen together. The Diamond Hour is one of the hottest hours on the Jewelry Channel. If you want to shop with us, you're going to have to hop on those phone lines right away so that these items don't escape you. The piece that we offer you right now, being said it's diamonds and white gold, is what fashion jewelry is all about these days. It gives you that really elegant look, and with all of the hand mill grain. they'll ever learn. And at 10, the blues, country, gospel, and jazz give birth to rock and roll. Tomorrow on Ovation TV. Make life creative. He's at home program with consultations. You're never gonna fit in my on to GACTV.com. Vote for your favorite Opry shows from the past. I'm really looking forward to future. And uh, I think that helped him a lot. Be an encouragement for other private equity. Protecting the ball in the pocket, trying to make better decisions. Through the first five games, Brady has thrown 16 touchdowns to six different receivers. Get some glasses. Our fries don't curl. Hey, happy socks. Call out a hedge. You don't do it anywhere else, so why do it at the game? Be a good sport. Brought to you by the Big 12 Conference of NCAA Football. Attention, diabetic patients with medical. Peace there. Government. And so far, I've expressed. So, to save money, we are abbreviating it. Cartoon. No, no touching. No, 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 no touchy touch feely. Touch no. Probably had a 22 on the wall and a Red Rider BB gun somewhere close by.
Daisy has sold over 9 million Red Riders, beginning with the very first Daisy prototype, handmade in 1888. And she's three and a half. Hi, I'm John. My life upon him. Come on, worship him. Conversation. That they did to you. Oh, Lord. was right on the floor. Oh. Power of 10. Power of 10, the answer, yes. For one point, what grandfather of Noah lived to be 969 years old? Methuselah. Methuselah, the answer, very good. Back to Ryan. For two points, with the first name Christian, what South African surgeon performed the first human heart transplant? Barnita. No, it was Christian Barnard. Back to Janine. For one point in the 1989 film, what does an Iowa farmer construct after a voice says, if you build it, he will come? Field of Dreams? That's the name of the movie, but he built a baseball diamond. Back to Ryan. For five points, Ryan, now owned by eBay, what online company specializes in money transfers? PayPal. PayPal is correct. And I know the question. For five points, Ryan, what's the question? What actor won an Oscar for his work in Capote? Answer? Philip Seymour Hoffman. That's the question. There you go. Good job. Yeah, you should give yourself a high five. You are down by only two points now. You've closed the gap very nicely. So we have a two-point game. You go to anywhere and they... Boss on the record. Yeah, okay. Lucky. You swim with it. Bosley is the world... Tile, stained glass, and roasted with 100% Arabica bean. Oh, with the release of his biopic, Bobby. Risk of a specific birth defect. Diabetes and your current burning. Plus, to help make the program even easier, you'll receive the all new. Manners. Place Julian Blue with 700 points. Allison in red comes in third with 400 points. So Matt hits first place on that one, and now it's time to spill his guts. So Matt, spill your guts. <laughs> Professor's research not only was Anka the most feared ruler. to your brother. With a body of work. Boy, what do with this girl? I'm the stepfather. Here we go, here we go, from the bridge. Had my first kiss. We knew everybody. How about you take all of us there? Hi, this is Tony Sokolow. You know, the rolling with the homies. Um, 
Anyways, anyways, I got the tape, right? I listen to it like every single night. <laughs> Don't burn that. Okay. Ty, I'm really happy for you, but what brought on this surge of empowerment? It's like I met this guy who's so totally amazing. Then he makes Alton look like a loser. That is so great. <laughs> Look, you've got to help me get Josh. Get Josh what? You know what I mean? I like him. Do you think that he likes you? Yeah. How do you know? Like, little things, you know? Like, he always, he finds some sort of way to touch me or tickle me. Ooh, and do you remember the time at the frat when I was totally depressed and he asked me to dance with him and he was really flirty? You okay? Oh, actually, I, I was really bad today. I had two mochaccinos. I feel like Ralphing. Oh, I know exactly how that feels. Like, the other day, I was talking to Josh, and we were discussing the difference between high school girls and college girls. See, college girls wear less makeup on their face, and that's why guys like them more. A tie. Do you really think you'd be good with Josh? I mean, he's like a school nerd. <laughs> what, am I some sort of a mentally challenged airhead? No, not even. I didn't say that. What, I'm not good enough for Josh or something? I, I just don't think you mesh well together. You don't think that we mesh well? <laughs> I was like, why am I even listening to you to begin with? You're a virgin who can't drive. Oh, that was way harsh, Ty. Look, I'm really sorry. Let's just talk when we've mellowed, all right? I'm outie. It's a more intelligent animal. If you want to find a great football tradition, come. Some will rise, some will fall, and some will take the next step on the road to the BCS. Unbelievable! BCS Breakdown on FSN. With previews of Saturday's biggest matchups and detailed analysis of the national championship picture. BCS Breakdown, Friday on FSN. Ask Victory at Oregon State. Undefeated and a consensus number one. The to be a legend, it takes longevity, and Lance has been a part of this for years and years and years. Before I even started skateboarding, he was pro. You know what I mean? So to see, you know, that's that's what it takes: dedication and just to be able to last. I think a big part of it is for any room to go around. So at eight six, John Cook wants to take a timeout. Huskers on top, two games to none over Iowa State. See the blonde. Ferreira tried to attack. Don't ask whether or not I can knock the three down. Now you know what I'm capable of. I didn't know. I, neither did I. Now I know. You live and learn, right? Fix wants to know, how will you defend yourself at the first sign of a cold? And then you just take some of the Pollock feel to it, you know, like, bam! Still a tradition every time I'm home for a weekend. Now I got Blue and spaghetti. Which is their padded glove. 
Now the sword, called a shinice, is made of bamboo bound with waxed cord. And points are given for blows to the... Wow! Weekend at the ranch to dedicate the park. Pacific Northwest, but Friday, a better chance of more rain coming into Northern California. Overboard, my ship would leave the country, but I'd rather swim. Stay. 
stations Cause Southern Bell's a hell at night You say you came to Baltimore from Ole Miss A class of seven for gold rain The eastern moon looks ready for a wet kiss To make the tide rise Corazón se cansó It's the azure veins in what moldy cheese? Pass. Blue. In the 1920s, flappers performed what dance named for a city in South Carolina? Charleston. Correct. In National Lampoon's Vacation, what amusement park do the Griswolds discover Wally is World. correct? An ancient Greek statue shows a naked athlete hurling. Discus. Correct. You have 11 seconds. I'm not sure, but in what city is Piccadilly Circus? London. That's it. You got it, pal. Good job. Excellent, excellent work. In what city is Piccadilly Circus? You got it. $5,000. Newlywed, all that stuff. Teacher, you can use it, huh? Absolutely. Congratulations. Thank you Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time on That's the Question. All the games you love to play. It's a battle of the sexes. Survey said. All the stars you love to watch and all the moments. Champ Car World Series legend Jimmy Vassar. PM6 Central on GSN. It's time to play Family Feud. Our returning champs, the Davis family, playing against the Pryor family. Now, here's the star of our show, our very own royalty, His Highness Richard the Great. Thank you very much, and welcome back to the Family Feud. Returning for their second time, the Davis family. <laughs> All right, Amparo, welcome back. Thanks, Richard. It's great to be back. Yes, it is. Now introduce me once again to your fam. I'd love to. This is my husband, Stephen. He's a financial advisor. My brother-in-law, John, also a financial advisor. 
my sister-in-law Marla, an advertising executive, and my sister-in-law Linda, who, like myself, is an attorney. All right. Yeah. And they're playing the Pryor family. Yeah. Sherry. Yeah. That's a soft C. Yes. Kind of like my Sherry. Yes. OK. <laughs> well, introduce me to your family. OK, this is LaVar, my sister-in-law. And she's a registered nurse. She's going to prison tomorrow. I have my <laughs> sister-in-law, Joanne Pryor. Do she's work. a registered nurse. <laughs> I have uh, my cousin Elaine, and she is a postal worker. And my sister-in-law Jeannie, she's a homeopathic doctor. And today's her birthday. Happy birthday! Oh. Happy birthday! Are you guys ready to play? Are you ready to play the feud? Let's go, Sherry. I'm borrow. All right. Good luck, you guys. We have surveyed 100 people. Top five answers are on our board. Good luck. Name something you do when you want to put yourself in a romantic mood. Amparo. Um, light candles. Light candles. One answer better than that. A romantic dinner. A romantic dinner. Oh, Claire Pass. We'd like to play. Okay, they're playing. All right, Steve. Put on some light music. Good put on answer. some light music. Romantic music. Like Nothing too heavy. Put on a little music. <laughs> All right. Something you do when you want to put yourself in a romantic mood. Maybe put on some nice clothes. Put on All some right, nice clothes. Okay. Feel good. Put on some nice clothes. Put on some nice clothes. <laughs> That's right. All right, Marla. How about take a bath? Oh, good one. Yeah. Yeah. Take a bath. Yeah. All relaxed. Nice. Take a bath. <laughs> Something you do when you want to put yourself in a romantic mood. There's one more up there. You can sweep the board. Uh, put on perfume. Put on a little perfume. Yeah. Yes. You know, the smell thing is very important. If it's up there, you're, you swept the board. Put on a little perfume. And borrow. Richard, we'd like to uh, dance. Dance. Do a little dance. Make a little love. Get down tonight. You dance. Two strikes. Get ready to, to steal. Steve, something that you do when you want to put yourself in a romantic mood. Buy myself something nice. Buy myself something. Good <laughs> answer. Good answer. <laughs> Okay, if it's up there, you swept the board. If not, you've opened the door for the priors to steal. Buy yourself something. <laughs> what are we here? Okay, all right. Have a cocktail. Have a drink. Glass of wine. We're going to have, uh, have a there. cocktail. Have a little cocktail. <laughs> have a little cocktail. Have a little drink. Okay, if it's up there. You've taken the points. First blood. A little drink. OK. LeVon, Steve. All right. You know this. It's the first team to 300 points gets that shot at $20,000. Top six answers on the board. Name a subject Regis and Kelly spend every day yakking about. Steve. Uh, celebrity gossip. Celebrity gossip. <laughs> Claire pass. We'll pass it. OK, they're passing it to you. Move on. OK. That's right. Reg. Reg and Kelly, what do they yak about every day? Places they've eaten. Places that they eat. Yeah. Places, places they've eaten. Places they've eaten. That's right. That's food. That's right. Can I say current events? Current events. Yeah. Yes, you can. You can say that. <laughs> current events. Yeah. I mean, eat. Fashion. Fashion. That's right. Fashion. 
Oh. Okay. Sherry. I'm gonna say. Regis and Kelly spend every day yakking about something. Different movies. Movies that they've seen. Yes. Yeah. Different movies. Yeah. Movies. Oh. oh, Davis family, get ready to steal. Okay, Levon. You got two strikes. I got it. I know you got that smile on your face. They're you know. They're families. They're families. <laughs> That's right. You watch the show? <laughs> hey, if it's up there, you're still alive. They're families. <laughs> Good job. Joanne. Places they travel. Places that they've traveled. Traveling. 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 Places to go. Places they've traveled. Oh! What? Trivia, night before. They talk about their evening prior to the show. Stuff they did the night before. Stuff they did the night before. All the cool stuff that they do every night. Exactly. They work all day, they go out at night. If it's up there, you've gotten the points back from the priors. Stuff that they've done the night before. <laughs> what else could they talk about? What's number four? Gentlemen. Gentlemen, that's right. And what's uh, number five? <laughs> the Friars at 146. The Davises have yet to score, but remember, the first team to 300 points. Come on back. We'll be here. We don't talk about the weather. I'm Cindy Present, and this is where it hurts, right in my knees. The pain in my knees feels like bee stings. I tried the Aleve liquid gels, and the response for me was quick. I spent time with my eight-year-old out in the water, took a leave when we came in. I didn't have any of the knee pain I usually experience. I would definitely recommend Aleve liquid gels. Happiness runs in a circular motion. Thought is like a Fruity Cheerios, with a touch of real fruit happiness juice runs, and an excellent source runs. of whole grain. Happiness runs, happiness what tastes runs. good is good. Happiness runs, happiness runs. Want to know how Hotwire.com can guarantee the lowest prices on hotels? Hotwire has special deals with three- and four-star hotels. When hotels have unsold rooms, they use Hotwire to fill them, so you get them at prices lower than any other travel site. Guaranteed, like four stars in Chicago. Travelocity price, $179. Hotwire.com price, just $96. Want a great deal on your next hotel? Visit Hotwire.com. Four-star hotels, two-star prices. H-O-T-W-I-R-E, Hotwire.com. It could all start with your pet and just one flea. Before you know it, one becomes two, then ten, then hundreds, even thousands, infesting not only your pet, but also your carpet, your bed, even you. To protect your pet and home from fleas, ask for Frontline Plus. Just one dose kills fleas and ticks fast. It's the one that's waterproof, and it lasts all month long. Don't let one flea become a big problem. Ask for the brand that vets and pets count on most. For dogs and cats, it's the vet's number one choice, Frontline Plus. It's summer, and that means bugs, rats, and mice living and growing in your walls, attics, kitchen, and bathroom, around your kids, pets, and food. So stay tuned and find out how you can get the number one selling pest control product for free. Introducing the new Ridex Plus, a revolutionary device powered by Motorola technology that sends digital pulses through the wiring in your walls. Driving bugs, roaches, rats, and mice right out of your house forever. All you do is simply plug it in. A single Ridex Plus will protect one level of a typical house, apartment, or condominium. It's that simple. That's why Ridex is number one with over 3 million units sold. Thanks to Ridex Plus, there's no more need to have strangers come to your home spraying poison around your children, food, and pets. Just plug in the Ridex Plus and your entire house can be bug free. The best thing about Ridex is it's the best product of its kind on the market. It saves me money and I don't have to pay the bug guy to come in and spray all those chemicals in my house. I've been using Ridex for years. It's the only repeller that truly works. Thanks, Ridex. It saves me money because I don't have to buy all those chemicals and traps. Ridex just 
makes me happy. Tired of spending hundreds of dollars every year getting rid of pests? Tired of having strangers come into your home spraying poisons around your children, pets, and food? Well, now you can say no to chemicals forever by using the Red X Plus Plug-In Exterminator with Motorola technology. Red X Plus sold millions at over $50. But now, during our chemical-free campaign, you can be bug-free for only $29.95. But wait, order now and we'll give you a second Red X Plus absolutely free. That's right, free. Red X Plus comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So the only thing you have to lose are the pests. Not available in stores. Operators are standing by, so call now for this limited-time offer. Welcome back to the Family Feud. The Priors are 146. The Davis is at zero. All right, you know what? They got zero points, so I'm doubling the points. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this game could go anywhere now. It's still anybody's game. Top five answers are on the board. Name a famous Australian. John. Paul Hogan. Yeah. Paul Hogan. Yeah. One answer better than that, John. <laughs> Claire Pass. That's a good pass. pass. Oh, that pass. <laughs> You shouldn't have been shaking your head. <laughs> They're playing a little strategy on you. Okay. A famous Australian. Mel Gibson. Yeah, yeah baby. Yeah. Mel Gibson. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know you know this. You do. <laughs> um, Peter Pan. Well, you know, there's a lot of that syndrome going on down there. <laughs> Show me Peter Pan. Because oh. those boys like to party. Okay. Sean Sherry. Connery? Sean Connery. Yes. Mm. From He's Australia. Uh, <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. OK. Conry. Oh! Okay. All right. Okay. There's two strikes. There's two strikes up there. I got it. You got it. Crocodile Dundee. Yeah. Crocodile Dundee. That's Paul Hogan. Uh, okay. But he's famous. I got another one. And that's why he's famous, because he's Crocodile Dundee. Okay, well, I got another one. You got them all. You, okay. okay. Nicole Kidman. Nicole. All right. She's not just Australian. She's tall. Good answer. Good answer. Nicole Kidman. Good job. All right, John. Three seconds. Okay. All right, let's get it. You got it? You got, it. You got one? Olivia Newton-John. Oh, that's right. Okay, if it's up there, you've taken the points, you've gotten out of ground zero, and it's gonna be a game. Show me Olivia Newton-John. I know, that's tough. What's number four? Jumped ahead to 156. The Priors at 146. It's still anybody's game. Don't go away. We're here. We're in Australia. It's a whole new Richard. It's the testosterone against the. Uh, never mind. For a whole hour of family fun. Don't miss the family feud coming up next only on GSN. When the IRS levied my business and personal accounts, I didn't know where to turn. My CPA recommended American Tax Relief. Thousands of honest, hardworking Americans have turned to American Tax Relief. Good people, just like you, whose circumstances left them owing taxes they couldn't pay. People like the Clarks, who, due to illness and family emergencies, owed the IRS $30,000. American Tax Relief got them to accept a fraction of what we owed. And they let us keep our home. 
If you owe over $10,000 to the IRS or state, call American Tax Relief for a free consultation. Find out how they can help you settle for less than you owe. You wouldn't think of going to court without a lawyer. Why would you deal with the IRS alone? I thought I was going to lose my business, but American Tax Relief got me a second chance. Look, the IRS is offering you a one-time opportunity to settle your debt. This is your one second chance. Use it well. Call 1-800-983-1735 for your free consultation. Call 1-800-983-1735 and settle for less. Do raisins have brains? They're kind of wrinkly, and wrinkles are a sign of wisdom, right? Plus, they're in this Smart Start cereal, which is called Smart for a reason. It's designed to help lower cholesterol, and it has potassium and low sodium to help lower blood pressure, too. So if it's letting all these raisins hang out with it, raisins must be pretty smart. I know cinnamon's probably no dummy either. Smart Start Healthy Heart Cinnamon Raisin from Kellogg's. For your heart, start smart. Honey, where's the car? Your brother came by and borrowed it. Kevin or Dave? Dave. <laughs> That's when it came to me. Why don't we extend coverage no matter who you let drive your car? That's good. Yes. Your coverage extended to anyone you let drive your car. Call 1-800-211-SAVE now and see how much you can save or get an immediate quote at 21st.com. 21st Century Insurance. Drivers just like you. If you're a pet lover like me, you probably use these medications from your vet to keep them healthy. But why? When you could use these from 1-800-PET-MEDS. They're exactly the same, except they cost a lot less. And I save a trip to the vet's office, because they're delivered right to my door free with a money-back guarantee. I trust 1-800-PET-MEDS. It's a great way to take care of your baby. Call today or order online. America's largest pet pharmacy. I'm Doyle Brunson. You want to see your name on the screen? All you got to do is log on to gsn.com and start playing along. Welcome back to the feud. We got the Davises at 156. The Priors at 146. Elaine, Marla. All right, shake hands. Good luck. Just for that, I'm tripling the points. Okay, I'm tripling them, but I'm only reading the question once, okay? I'm reading it once, so everybody pay attention. Top four answers on the board. Name a word that rhymes with nurse. Marla. Purse. Purse. Okay, they're playing. Curse. Hey. Worse. Worse. Well, it could be worse. Worse. <laughs> Steve. Steve, this is it. This is it. You could you could sweep the board right here. Three seconds. It's okay. You got the answer. You're all over it. All right. Nurse. Huh? Nurse. Nurse. Oh, that rhymes. First. 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 What answer? What answer? That's, that's uh, kind of rhyme. First. <laughs> Get ready to, to steal, Pryor family. All right, Marla. I think I have it. You started this, you could end it. Verse. <laughs> All right, you got two strikes. If verse is up there, you've got the points and the game. If not, the Pryor family gets a chance to steal. Show me verse. All right. A word that rhymes with nurse. Because if you don't get to the nurse in a hurry, you, 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 go. Go. you might be ending up in that hearse. All right. If it's up there, you guys are our new champions. If not, the Davises retain 
their title. Show me hearse. We'll be back to play Fast Money right after this! GSN presents the National Vocabulary Championship in association with the Princeton Review. An exhilarating, thought-provoking, immensely rewarding competition where students test their aptitude for vocabulary against each other with over $100,000 towards tuition and awards. Go to winwithwords.com for details. Define your future. Get your school involved. Go to www.usatodayeducation.com. Butoni. Butoni. I'm amused. You know, a classic spirit of inspiration. Maybe you could use some inspiration for dinner tonight. Well, here's a muse flash. Butoni appetizers, pastas, and sauces in the refrigerated section. For Italian combinations any night, like Butoni four cheese ravioli and marinara. It's all the inspiration you need. You'll thank me. Hey, Michelangelo did. Butoni, keep life fresh. You know what I just noticed about Raisin Bran Crunch? This box is really well designed. I mean, it totally communicates the raisin. It's designed to protect the granola clusters and the flakes. Is that crunchy conga? Mm, maybe you haven't heard it. Two scoops of crunch? No. Two scoops of raisins. The only reason the raisins are in there is like to be little tiny shock absorbers for the flakes. Hey, it's got B12 in it. I didn't know that before. There are plenty of reasons to love Kellogg's Raisin Bran Crunch. What's yours? Introducing Duncan Hines Oven Ready Homestyle Brownies. Brownies that go straight from the freezer to the oven. Too delicious. No pots, no pans, and no bowls. But don't worry, there are plenty of other ways to use them. Duncan Hines Oven Ready Homestyle Brownies. The breakthrough for brownie lovers. I don't know. I just thought it would be different this time. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> this one seems so sweet. Sweetness is overrated. So true. I am tired of being disappointed. Is it me? No, no, absolutely not. We're not talking about me. Many drinks appear to be healthy, but when it comes to Aquapod, your kids get 100% all-natural spring water. Because of its fun shape, kids will drink more water and less of those other drinks. Make a change today. Get coupons at aquapodmoms.com. Martin. Coach calls a sweep right, Martin goes left. Coach calls left, Martin cuts it up the middle. But who's gonna argue? Martin knows what it takes to make a play spectacular. Let them be spectacular with Clorox bleach. It whitens better than detergent alone. And for colors, there's Clorox too. Hi, I'm Jennifer Harmon. These people are playing along right now. Why aren't you? Go to gsn.com and get started. The Fryer family won the game. It's time to play Fast Money in that shot at $20,000. Yeah. Sherry's off stage, but she can't see or hear your answers. I'll ask you five questions in 20 seconds. Give me the most popular answer. If you can't think of something, say pass, and we'll come back to it if there's time left. Now, if you and Sherry together get 200 points, you'll win $20,000. Twenty seconds on the clock, please. Clock will start after I read the first question. Name a fruit that people might add to Jello. Um, pineapple. Name something that might wake you up in the middle of the night. Um, a loud noise. Name a part of the body you have two of. Arms. Name a word used to describe how you feel when you've eaten too much. Stuffed. Name something people do to cure a backache. Uh, take medicine. <laughs> That was quick, wasn't it? You looked at me like, is that it? Yeah. OK. Right here. Come on. You got to own up to these answers. I'm not letting oh you off that God. easy. 
All right. A fruit that people might add to Jello. You said, there's always room for pineapple. Survey said, 14. Something that might wake you up in the middle of the night. You said, loud noise. Survey said, nine. A part of the body that you have two of. You said, arms. Survey said, 17. Oh. A word you use to describe how you feel when you've eaten too much, you said, stuffed. I'm stuffed. My two arms put too much food in my mouth. Survey said, <laughs> yeah. Something people do to cure a backache. You said, Medicaid, medicine them. That's right. Give me some medicine. Survey said, You 104 points, you need 96. Okay. I'll ask you the same five questions. You can't duplicate the answers. If you do, you'll hear this sound. I'll say okay. try again. Give me another answer. Okay. It's tougher, so we're going to give you 25 seconds. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. Remind everyone of LaVon's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. Time will start after I read the first question. Name a fruit that people might add to Jill-O. Uh, pears. Name something that might wake you up in the middle of the night. Uh, alarm. Name a part of the body you have two of. Uh, arms. Try, try again. Legs. Name a word used to describe how you feel when you've eaten too much. Stuffed. Try again. Um, pass. Name something people do to cure a backache. Uh, put heat to it. How do you describe when you've eaten too much? Uh, fat. <laughs> OK. All right. So I said to name a fruit <laughs> that people might add to Jello. You said pears. <laughs> Survey said two. Okay. Strawberries. Yeah. Strawberries. Number one answer. You need ninety-four. Something that might wake you up in the middle of the night. You said an alarm. Well, if you said it. Well, no, actually a car alarm. Oh, yeah, sure. House alarm. Survey said twelve. Okay. Okay. Your parents or your dog barking, okay. you know. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, name a part of the body that you have two of. You said <laughs> legs. Survey said 15. Okay. <laughs> Feet. <laughs> Feet, number one answer. Okay. Just below the legs. OK, you need 67 points. A word used to describe how you feel when you've eaten too much. You said <laughs> fat without the PH. <laughs> That's right, I feel fat. Survey said. <laughs> Oh. Full. <laughs> I'm full. Oh. Yeah. Oh. All right, 67 okay. points. Something people do to cure a backache. You said, put heat on it. That's good. Medicine was the number one answer. Survey said, oh. that's all right. That's all right, because you're coming back tomorrow. You're coming on back tomorrow, and we'll give them $5 a point for a total of $765. Come on back. These guys are fighters. We'll see you right here on the field. What kind of player are you? Millionaire Head, a person able to sort out multiple choice questions, usually for a huge sum of money. No matter what kind of player you are, there's a game for you at GSN.com. Exclusive games like Grand Slam, multiplayer action like 8-Ball, or cash competitions like Bejeweled 2. Plus, there's new games every week like Bloons, Go to gsn.com and submit your photo and player definition and you could be featured on TV. Get in the game at gsn.com. It's time to play Family Feud. Our returning champs, the Pryor family. Playing against the Luizzo family. Now, here's the star of our show, the host master general, Mr. Richard Cow. Thank you, thank you, and welcome back to The Family Feud. We have our champs returning for their second time, the Pryor family. 
Sherry. Yes. How you doing? I'm fine. Good to have you back. Glad to be back. Introduce me to your family. Okay, this is my sister-in-law, Lavon. She's a registered nurse. Uh, my sister-in-law, Joanne, she is a registered nurse. And my cousin, Elaine, she's a postal worker. And my sister-in-law, Jeannie, and she's a neuropathic doctor. All right. <laughs> now, you know, I, I, we have to clarify something. Yeah. Because yesterday you said someone was going to jail. <laughs> Me. You're going to jail? To work. <laughs> to, work. to work. Right. What, you're making license plates? No, I work in corrections. <laughs> <laughs> as a nurse? Yes, as a nurse. As you, and you help out? Yes, I do. Okay, well, we, we, we just didn't want, you know, America oh, to know that you're going to jail <laughs> for something bad. You're going there for something good. Good. All right. And they are playing against the Loitzo family. <laughs> Michelle. How you doing? Welcome. I'm good. Now, you guys are all the way from Chicago. We are. All right. We're happy to be here. I wouldn't, we're happy to have you here. Introduce me to your family. Great. Well, I'm the original Michelle Lewitzo, but this is my sister-in-law, who's also Michelle, who's a spa director. <laughs> my little mom works as a senior director of sales. My very big brother, Michael, works as an account executive. And my brother, Sam, builds custom homes. Let's go. Beauty. Let's go. All right. Well, are you ready to play? We're excited. We're ready. Ready. Are you ready? Let's play the feud. Sherry, Michelle. All right, you guys. We surveyed 100 people. Top five answers are on our board. Where do you want the bulk of your tax dollars to go? Towards Michelle? your home. You want them to go to your home? Yeah. Towards your home. There's one answer better than that. Uh, to the schools. To the school. Clara oh. Pass. Pass. Okay, they're passing hey, it on to you. Let's go, let's go. A little strategy going that. on here. Where would you like the bulk of your tax dollars to go? To something good, like um, into the neighborhood. Into the neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Into, the neighborhood. into your neighborhood. All right. Come on, come on. Come on, this, is, this, is a very, uh, this is a very serious question. It is. Yeah, this really is something is. everybody should know. Where, really where would you like the bulk of your tax dollars to go? I think the bulk of the tax dollars should go to offset the price of housing. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> offset the price of housing. Oh. Two strikes. Oh. Prior family, get ready to steal. Oh yeah, All right, Michael. I'm going to say... How about like parks and recreation? Good answer. Parks and recreation. Okay. You've got two strikes. You don't want a third. No, we don't. Parks and recreation. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Come on, like park. for swings and or yeah, recreation. You know, things. Yeah. Okay. Fields. Parks and recreations. Oh. All right. You started this strategy <laughs> off. You guys got something to back it up with? Health care. Health care. 